thank you for having me here today. It's been one hell of a 40-year journey. First up, we have a beautiful and unique gift for everyone here today. Nathan, please show the work. This is Terry from a newly discovered picture of Terry at 17 years of age. I moved from Newport to London when I was 16. It wasn't the easiest of times, and it took me two attempts to settle and find my tribe. I got a job at Warner Brothers in Leicester Square and never looked back. A life in cinema, theatre and television, bars, clubs, was exactly what I was looking for. Through this, I met Terry. He was a wonderful man, in fact, the first person to give me a sense of community. London can be a pretty lonely place, and Terry looked out for me. We eventually became a little Welsh logical family. People would ask to join the family and we would welcome people in. It wasn't as easy as having WhatsApp groups, but we kept in touch, we kept the phones going, and uh, we looked after each other. We both came into our own in the nightclubs. We actually met in bands. We worked together in Heaven Nightclub. Terry would travel to New York and he would always bring back the latest recordings and uh, books and magazines, so we kept in touch with that culture. Um, I was involved in the campaign for homosexual equality. Terry famously got himself in a spot of bother at one of the prides in, seven, in the 70s. We wanted to change the world. Sadly, it was Terry's death that pioneered that change. The hospital was clueless about Terry's illness. It was Rupert that had to ask, what about this mystery disease, this illness from the US? When Terry died, the doctors didn't tell Rupert what Terry had died of. He wasn't family. They told us we'd have to read about it in the medical journals. It was AIDS. In our grief and anger, we looked for action in a, in a sea of action. We met at my flat and planned Terry Higgins Trust. We started a few fundraisers, and we realized that the, the scale of the task, both Rupert and I approached Tony Whitehead, a passionate campaigner who had been fired from British homesteads, home stores from wearing a gay badge on his uniform. He was just what we needed. 40 years on, we still have work to do peer support, better testing, and fighting stigma. I want to thank everybody in this room for their hard work to make the HIV action plan launched by the First Minister today. Let's end all new cases by 2030. Now, I hope you won't mind me saving the last few words for Terry. We would do anything for one more night in heaven with you. But I hope we've done your name proud. Rest in peace, my friend Terry. <laughs>